Hi friends, in this video we are discussing fitting of a non-linear curve in that uh, topic is fitting of a parabola. This topic we are chosen from curve fitting. Okay, in this video first we will discuss working rule and we will solve the problem on fitting of a parabola by using the calculator. This calculator I will use. At the end of the video I will tell you the shortcut for the given data what are the values, uh, what are the unknowns, A, B, C, okay. Now, coming to the working rule, friends, first they will give the values X i comma Y i, okay. For that, we have to fit a parabola, we have to consider the parabola Y is equal to A plus B X plus C X square. Sometimes, they will give in the problem, that is in the form of, maybe, of course, both are same, here A, B, C are unknowns, now in this case, you see, Y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c both will be same ok na? now for this what we have to do means we have to write the normal equations the normal equations of the parabola here you observe to get the parabola we require what are the unknowns to find a value b value c value what they will give in the tabular values x i comma y a means x values you know y values you know we have to find out a b c so how many unknowns are there three unknowns. So, you require three equations three to solve the three unknowns. How many re, how many equations we require? Three equations. So, we will get the three normal equations. How to get the normal equation? See, first of all, these are the normal equation. So, to remember, uh, how you will remember this normal equations means, you see, what is the A quotient? 1. B quotient? X. C quotient? X square. Now, A quotient is 1. Na, so, we have to multiply entire equation with the summation 1 for this equation. Then you will have this one. Here you see, summation 1 into y is summation y. Summation 1 into a means summation a. Actually, you see, summation 1, if you have, summation 1 is nothing but number of observations. Number of observations are n. So, n a. a is a constant. Now, that is why I have written n a. Next, 1 into uh, summation x. That is summation x. 1 into summation x square. Summation x square. Okay. Next, first term is over uh, a quotient is over now coming to the b quotient b quotient is here summation x first b quotient is x we have to multiply with the summation x x is nothing but x i friends x i x1 x2 x3 so on x1 so on x n that is the reason i am multiplying with uh, x and uh, adding summation for this then i will have here summation x into y is summation x y a into summation x b into summation x square c into summation x cube and the last equation to get the last equation we have to multiply with c equation what is the c equation x square so we have to multiply with uh, x square for this entire equation summation x square that is y into summation x square is summation x square y a into summation x square b into summation x cube plus c into summation x power 4 so in these three equations we know only x values y values only we know but we require to find out summation x summation x square, summation x cube, summation x power 4, summation y, summation x y and summation x square y. So, these all values we have to get. How we will get means based on the given data, we have to construct the table. We need to find out these all values by using calculator. Of course, you can do directly, but calculator is a very easy linear. We can use. Now, we will get the these three equations. Now, you observe these three equations are in the form of a x is equal to b form or not. So, this this is a non-homogeneous system of linear equations we will have. So, on solving these equations, you can use the matrix method in general method or else by using the calculator also, we can get the unknown values A, B, C. After uh, getting these A, B, C values, we have to substitute in uh, Y is equal to A, X plus B, X plus A, plus B, X plus C, X square. Y is equal to A plus B, X plus C, X square, which gives the required parabola. Okay, na? now we will discuss problem given problem is fit a parabola of second degree fit a parabola of second degree generally parabola is in the form of uh, second degree only parallel of degrees 2 to the following data x values they are given and corresponding y values also they are given okay now first what we have to do we have to consider the parabola let us consider the parabola y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square consider as equation number one in this parabola we know only x values and corresponding y values so we need to find out the constants here unknowns what you have a b c these three so for that first what we have to do we have to write the 
normal equations normal equations for this parabola okay what we have to do what is the a quotient here a quotient is 1 so we have to multiply with 1 and add the summation for that here how many observations are there you see 1 2 3 4 5 so n is equal to 5 so what are the normal equations we have just we have to multiply with the a quotient b quotient c quotient then uh, each means total you will have three equations okay first equation now summation one summation one is nothing but what you have five that you have to remember okay y summation one into y is summation y a into summation one so summation one means here five summation one is here uh, five, uh, 5 into a is five why i am writing uh, uh, five is it clear summation one is equal to number of observations are n those are five Next, summation 1 into bx means summation bx. But b is a constant you can write. Because here you have only a that is a constant. But if here you have b is a constant and variable is also there. So, summation 1 into x becomes summation x plus c into summation x square. Next, first one is over. Next equation, how you will get means b quotient. b quotient is x. So, multiply with summation x on both sides. Then, summation xy is equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square plus c into summation x cube. Next, multiply with x square on both sides. Then summation, you have to apply. Summation x square y is equal to a into summation x square plus b into summation x cube plus c into summation x to the power of 4. Now, you observe here, these three are equations are called normal equations for the parabola but here you know what values x value y value but what you need to find here we need to find summation x summation x square x cube x power 4 similarly summation y summation x y and finally summation x square y how we will get these values means we have to construct the table for this okay for the calculation we have to draw table here we have to write x values and y values here x square this is x cube x to the power of 4 here you have to write a x y value and x square y values okay but we know only x y values x values are 0 1 2 3 4 and corresponding y values we have 1.0 1.8 1.3 2.5 6.3 okay now we have to add these all values then we will get a summation x if you are added these all then you will have summation x is equal to 10 and if you are added these uh, all values we will get a summation y that is a uh, 12.9 now we want a uh, x square value then you will get summation x square x cube value x power 4 how you will get means x value whole square x1 square x2 square x3 square this is y1 value next you require to find x1 y1 product next x1 square y value you need to find okay by using the calculator we can do very easily see here we want uh, x square na? so of course these values are small you can do very easily but here suppose if they are given a uh, 53 54 55 in that case uh, is it easy to get a uh, square cubes it is not easy so better to use the calculator so now press ac button here now go for menu in that uh, first here they are given you see how, what i am doing alpha x square like square i am writing here x square so give a x value then you will get x square value for that press calculate solve for x is equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 means you will have 0 for x is equal to next solve for 1 solve for 1 then you will have 1 ok similarly you have to solve for all then we will get 0 1 4 9 16 next Solve next you want a uh, x cube. So for x cube, press AC. Now alpha x next to shift to x square. Then you will give uh, uh, x values, then you will get corresponding x cube values. For that solve, press x is equal to 0 is 0. Na? So for x is equal to 1, here uh, you will have 1. Solve solve for uh, x is equal to 2, then you will have x cube value. Solve for x is equal to 3, you will have x cube value. Like this we have to do. And not only x cube, you will get a uh, xy also. You see for xy, what you have to do means here, you see alpha x alpha y now alpha x alpha y okay now you press solve it will ask x value and y value suppose you see now i am solving for this x is equal to 4 now y value is corresponding y what i have here 6.3 so 6.3 is equal to. now which gives uh, x y value press sd that is 25.2 similarly x square y also you can find it how you can find out you see 
alpha x plus x square into alpha y alpha y now you solve uh, and you have to give x value only not x square value x value is suppose x is equal to 3 here you have 3 na? 3 and uh, y value is 2.5 2.5 then you will get which value you see x square y value that is 22.5 like this we have to solve all then you need to write uh, all these values in the table now I am writing directly those all values after simplification we will have ok now I have written all values but what you required summation x square summation x cube summation x power 4 summation x y summation x square y friends if you want to add sometimes we will do mistakes ok for that also again you can uh, go for calculator ok for these values you can use by using the calculator you can do now you see uh, for that what I am doing press more I want uh, summation is nothing but I have to go for statistics in that statistics is number 6 so press 6 button now which one you required means summations so here there is no summation now press down joystick again a uh, down joystick here you see we are not getting anything but here you see uh, here it is a uh, uh, appear like 3 is e 3 you observe option 3 y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square so first we have to give xy values but what we are fitting here we are fitting a parabola is it in the form of y is equal to ax plus B, uh, a plus bx plus cx square yes so press 3 now you give the all values of x and y now x values we have 0 is equal to 1 equal to 2 equal to 3 equal to 4 is equal to like that we, ha we have to give now corresponding y values so press down joystick and go for right joystick now you will have 1.0 is equal to 1.8 equal to 1.3 is equal to 2.5 equal to next 6.3 now you are given a uh, press ac uh, after uh, is equal to now you observe all the values are uh, correct or not we have to verify here 0 1 ok next 1 1.8 ok 2 1.3 ok 3 2.5 correct next 4 6.3 right now you press AC it is uh, just minimized only now you observe statistics we are fitting y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square form now you have to press option button in this one what we required summation values we required is there a uh, one two three four options are it is, is it appearing uh, summation no now press down joystick in the down joystick you observe the first option what you have summation so press one now you observe what we are getting in that one uh, summation x summation uh, x square second option third one summation y fourth summation y square summation x y sixth one summation x cube seventh one x square y summation x square y eighth one is summation x power four so you required a uh, summation x na so press one you observe press one what you are getting 10 you am i written a uh, 10 is correct or not yes next uh, go for again ac button press ac options in that uh, press down joystick press one next you want summation uh, y summation y is press three summation y is equal 12.9 correct or not next again press ac go for options now down joystick press one again you required x square summation x square means press two press two is equal to you observe 30 next press ac now what i required summation x cube go for options in this one down joystick summation one press one now summation x cube is which option you see sixth option so press six is equal to button then i will have this is 100 uh, next i want summation x power four summation x power four na? now press ac go for options now down joystick press one uh, now summation x power four is which option eighth one press eight is equal to then 354 next you see it is a uh, very typical uh, to add these small values you can add but bigger values it is not easy that is why i am explaining in the calculator press ac now go for options now down joystick summation one next you want summation xy summation xy is fifth option so press five again is equal to button that is 37.1 next i want to summation x square y press ac now go for uh, options now down joystick press one now I want x square y, x square y is a 7th option, so press 7th option, that is is equal to 130.3. So now you have all the values of our summation uh, for the normal equations you observe. Now we have to write all the values in this equation, then we will have, so I have written all the values, n value, summation x, summation x square, summation x cube, summation x power 4, summation x, summation x y, summation x square values. Now you observe here, these are called system of linear equations or not? Yes, what are the unknowns here? 
A, B, C. So now we have to solve this all. This is in the matrix form. If you want to do in a A x is equal to B, you can do in that method or else generally addition, subtraction by using that uh, algebraic operation also you can get A, B, C value. But uh, by using the calculator also you can get this. Now I will explain how to solve these uh, a, B, C values by using calculator. You see, now we are in a uh, statistics mode. Na. If you press A, C, now go for menu in that option 1. Now we are in general mode, but we are solving a system of linear equations. So, go for equations mode here. You see, one, uh, fifth one, next two, already I know, that is why I am saying directly, A, A is a equations or functions. Now press A, here you have A. Now, these are simultaneous equations with the three unknowns. So, simultaneous equation, press 1. How many number of unknowns you have? A, B, C. Nothing but 3. So, press 3. Now, you are uh, getting in this form. You see, this is the form you have. So, this is uh, 0x plus 0y is uh, plus 0z is equal to 0. Like, ax plus by plus, uh, uh, means, ax is equal to b form. System of linear equations, these are in matrix form. Now, in here actually we have uh, a, b, c, 5a plus 10b plus uh, 30c. Nothing but, uh, you consider a is equal to, a is nothing but x, b is nothing but y, c is nothing but uh, z. So, in the calculator, you will get xy value, xy, z only. Okay, no, not A, B, C. Now, we have to give A quotient as X quotient, B quotient as Y quotient, C quotient as a Z quotient. Okay, now I am giving those all values here. First, I have X quotient is 5, Y quotient is 10, next 30 is equal to, here the constant I have 12.9, press is equal to, next 10 equal to, 30 equal to, 100 is equal to, next 37.1 is equal to, next 30 equal to 100 equal to 354 is equal to 130.3 equal to okay press uh, here i have given all the values you can verify again okay now you can cross check like this now i am pressing ac if it is all correct then you press ac button then it gives x value x value is equal to 71.50 no? so numerical if you want so press sd button here you see sd you have press sd then you will have x values 1.42 so i am writing here x is equal to 1.42 next to, again is equal to press then uh, it gives y value y is equal to minus 1.07 again you press ac uh, sorry is, uh, is equal button then which gives a uh, z value z is equal to 0 0.55 Okay, na? now these are what values you consider? A, B, C. Na? So now you substitute this A, B, C value in the parabola. What is the parabola you have? Y is equal to A plus B, X plus C, X square. So A value, B value, C value, we have to substitute in equation number 1. So we need to write that one. Substitute A, B, C in equation number 1, which implies the required parabola Y is equal to 1.42 plus 1.42 plus into minus minus 1.07x plus 0.55 so this is the required parabola friends now there is a shortcut for you i will tell you listen carefully these abc values we can get a uh, by using the calculator directly in one step only okay you see first what we have to do means we have to enter xy values okay now press more in this one go for statistics press 6 here which uh, uh, this is a uh, we are fitting a parabola now nah? here we are fitting a parabola so press 3 button now you have to give xy values now i am giving xy values 0 is equal to 1 equal to 2 equal to 3 equal to 4 equal to next corresponding y values i want here y values are 1 is equal to 1.8 equal to 1.3 is equal to 2.5 equal to 6.3 equal to again you have to cross check okay if you are uh, done any mistake then enter solution will be wrong now you press ac direct step how you will get using now go for options in this one we require regression equation so press 3 you see what you are getting equation is a plus bx plus cx square what is a value 1.42 are you getting x is 1.42 right b value is minus 0 0.17 check it here 0 minus 0 0.17 or not here you see clearer minus 0 point minus 1.07 right next c value is 0 0.55 right i think you understood very clearly thank you for watching this video please give your valuable feedback